conscious thinkers welcome back to the god vibration um let's tap in with some sacred forest messages let's get some healing messages let's see what the collective needs at this time um what guidance is needed what direction is needed what messages are needed and helpful at this time we got flow and we got passage i heard access granted you've just entered into a new passageway it's like you flowed into a new passage meandering pathway flow number 24 standing stones passage it's literally as though you had to meander down this path right and it got you here where these stone where these standing stones are Air spirit, knowledge. So I said you flowed into a new passageway. Let's read passage. Air spirit, knowledge. Let's find out what the passage is about. I hope everyone is doing well. I'm feeling very much wrapped up in god's love right now i feel like god's promise is over the collective over and i'm speaking on you know in high high vibes right i don't know like is that why i was attracted to this very interesting so all right so passage is number 40 and i did say i heard access granted into a passageway hmm. <clears throat> let's see um as you walk you come across large vertical stones in a circle in the center of the sacred forest you know that to step inside this sacred ring is not to be undertaken lightly. It is an act of power. With solemn grace, you enter. Immediately, you feel a shift occur within you. It's as if the floodgates of your soul have opened and there is a download of cosmic information occurring within you so that's what's happening here you enter through a new passageway and you're going to be is like new knowledge okay new knowledge not things that you've already discovered and maybe even um you know practice or mastered right this is some sort of new level of information okay and actually air spirit knowledge came out after passage so you did you flowed into a new passageway right onto a new path and you're now going to be receiving it says it's as if the floodgates of your soul have opened and there is a download of cosmic information occurring within you. So it's like you entered through a passageway because there was a miracle that was created in your life. And once that miracle was created in your life, right? It's like after the receiving of the miracle, it, it's almost like what you do with it beyond that point and that's what you're being tapped into now. This is also giving me like that light body activation come into form. So again, so uh, 
that's what I'm hearing as far as yeah all right so many believe that standing stones are a place that allows one to embark on spiritual journeys from one realm to another they can also mark the transition from one stage of life to another wow and on this knowledge you're on a ship So again, entering into a new realm, dimension, entering into a new study, okay, entering into a new, right, you could be, the shifts in your 3D reality could be that you're moving, like maybe you're moving homes, um, maybe you're moving office spaces, maybe you are taking a trip on the seas, okay, or taking a trip just in general, this could just, and this is air spirit. So this could be by flight as well. So air or sea. But I'm feeling celebration energy because now I'm seeing the colors. I'm seeing all, what? Look at the background on this uh, standing stones. Even that cosmic energy in the background, it's rainbow colored. This is literally I'm seeing a celebration. These two women their dresses, something about the dresses, something about the colors, something about the the golden orbs. It seems like a party. Like a really dressed up type of situation. A ball. Or a, a, a banquet, a banquet. Even him. They all seem like they could be at the same place. So it's like a formal event. Yeah, I'm hearing ladies and gentlemen. So, where were we? Remember that although life changes, you are eternal. Celebrate all the transitions in your life and you will experience profound harmony. A voyage of the heart and soul is ahead, which is literally, once again, this is your voyage of the soul that is ahead, which came out after passage. You flowed right into this. I feel as though you didn't even know. You were just like, I don't know, ping ponging with spirit. And you just flowed right through the passageway. So now this you're on a voyage of the heart and soul. This journey may be spiritual or physical in nature. In either case, it is a kind of sacred pilgrimage. Have courage. A great ship can stay in the a great ship can stay safe in the harbor, but that is not what great ships are made for. Y'all, why is this so synchronistic? We're reading standing stones, passage. But look at the ship. Didn't I say you could either be going by air or sea? So this is, this could be, again, as it said, this could be spiritual, where you're entering into new states of being and learning new things, um, learning, uh, yeah, discovering new knowledge, like I said, from other realms, right? Or in your 3D reality, It'll manifest as you could be taking trips. You could be, right, you could be traveling. You could be exploring the world more, taking more trips, right? Seeing, 
seeing more things, tasting more things, discovering more things, enjoying more cultures, um, kind of like submerging yourself. Okay, so uh, yeah, I'm seeing someone that travels and like you submerge yourself into the cultures and, and the energies and you really connect to um, people in that way. Uh, this could be something that you do for work, literally. All right. A traveler. But then I'm also hearing the honest on a 5D sense. I'm hearing the energy of like a traveler in space and time. So. But I'm seeing like persons in their. it's like they're wearing the outfits of their people and like they're dancing it's a, it's a celebration it's a festival so that's what i'm saying it's like different cultures different you know and that's how you again that's how you meet people that's how you connect with persons and hmm. okay where were we a great ship can stay safe in the harbor, but that is not what great ships are made for. Be willing to unfurl your sails and set forth to the open seas. The seas might be rough and the wind might be strong, but you are safe and protected. The circle of stones takes you exactly where you need to go. Some of you, again, I feel as though I'm tapping in with an energy that you do something for work that involves connecting to different persons, to different, uh, what is this, groups or a charity or um, your, I don't know, or, or healing all right as well music right okay so that's why you travel yeah okay so it could be any of those sorts of professions but there's something it's like that's what you're getting there's an offer I feel as though I'm tapping in with an energy and you've been like waiting or you've, right? You were waiting on an offer from a company, all right? And this is coming in as confirmation for that. So it's like you are receiving the offer to work with that company and you're going to have to, yeah, I don't know. Maybe this has to do with, again, traveling. You're going to be connecting with them. So congratulations to whoever this is I'm tapping in with because that came in very clearly. So, yeah. Where am I? <laughs> where am I? Um, the Circle of Stones take you exactly where you need to go. So since the earliest days of humanity... Standing stones have been created <clears throat> as places of ceremonies and as ways to honor the divine. Archaeologists have found that some date that some have found some that date back to 4000 BCE. Okay, I got a little tight tongue because I wanted to say archaeologist. I feel as though I I might even be tapping in with an archaeologist. You're someone, yeah. And so that's why you travel as well. I said this is some sort of, okay, so inventor does, does, uh, or hmm. but that's why, that's why you move from place to place because there's something that you have purpose within doing and so, like, your calling takes you different places. <sighs> Neolithic people didn't have written language, 
Yet their art and stone circles, sometimes oval or horseshoe shaped, suggest that they had suggest that they held religious rituals at these ceremonial meeting places. The spirit of the standing stone says, a sacred journey is ahead. Deeper meaning is waiting to be discovered. You are safe. So you're headed on a sacred journey, a new sacred journey. That's why this knowledge card came out. It was about um, you entering into this new space and it is going to give deeper meaning to your life. Um, it says deeper meaning is waiting to be discovered and you are safe. So the even the, with the celebration that I'm seeing, right, on a spiritual level, this could literally be, you know, your spirit guides celebrating you um, because of your entry into this new space courage aspen spirit number three patience you've been cleared out of the fog and as i say that new beginnings daffodil spirit Number 10, completion. Number one, knowledge, air spirit. You have completed a cycle. I feel as though you have completed your soul cycle. Um, you've been cleared out of the fog. That foggy bog, you're above that. This this entry into this uh, passageway, that's your new beginnings. You had courage. I want to get some map oracle since this feels like a journey let's get some coordinates what does the collective need to know at this time father that will serve their greatest good intention <clears throat> dragon slayer magic prayer <laughs> Bottom of the deck, slow and steady, wins the race, right? Number 12, digital root number three. We also have number three here with Aspen Spirit. So look at that illuminated bubble. You're floating. This is Dragon's Lair. Something that I read, <clears throat> I don't know which card it was. And it spoke about you being protected, you being safe. I believe that was passage. This is protection, dragon's lair. We have intention. So when it comes to where you're headed and the coordinates of, you know, your life and how you map out um, your purpose and what God is guiding you into, it's about setting those intentions. We have 22, 32. So again, I'm getting that 10 energy. Magic prayer, light body activation. I also said <laughs> that I was feeling light body activation coming into form. That's what this is. The intention has been formed. You set an intention in in the 5d to purify your vessel it's come into form
there are things that I feel as though I'm speaking to an energy right now where there are things that you pray to God for privately, right? That are sacred to you, ways in which you, you know, your life is to be kind of like the divine knowledge that you receive from the most high, right? Everything isn't meant to be shared. And so it's almost like you know, you share from a space of sincerity, right? And and with intention to, to encourage and to spread knowledge. However, there are things within your energy that are protected and kind of like barred off from the everything everything and anyone and within those prayers right whatever that magic prayer is because it's something again it's something sacred to your destiny that's what you're receiving so i feel like with me saying that you know what that is That's your access granted. All right. That's it. That's what I'm hearing. Slow and steady. Yeah. I hope that you guys enjoyed this message and I will see you all in the next one. All right. Bye.